What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And for those of you who did miss the last task list video, I did recruit Anti-Venom. I really didn't show any gameplay video of him just yet, but I leveled him all the way to 9, and now you're going to see him in PvP action. For this video, I'm going to be using him along with the amazing Spider-Man Scrapper costume. And let me just tell you, they were obliterating teams left and right. First up is going to be a Quicksilver and Iron Fist team, so this team is no joke. Quicksilver starts out with a tag team and a blinding punches, and now on Spidey's turn we're going to use Spider Sense. After that it kind of depends on whether or not the enemy has the Mystic. If they do not, we'll use a web shot. If they did have the Mystic, you might as well use your highest damage attack, and that would be Web Slingshot. Then he protects against and dodges an Iron Fist attack, and sometimes he'll even gain an extra turn. And actually, he does gain an extra turn. For anyone who didn't think that Spider-Man was any good in this game, well, I really hope that they're watching this video. Next on my agent's turn, I use the Elixir of Recovery, and that will give us an extra turn. Also, since we have the Quick and Powered ISO 8, that was a quick action. Then with the first of our two attacks, we'll use the Bashanga's Blade, followed by the Mystic. Hopefully, this is enough to finish the enemy agent, and it easily does more than enough to knock out their agent. On Anti-Venom's turn, we do have a few interesting options. I really love his second ability, which is I Am The Cure. This places opportunist debuffs, webbed, and a 60% chance to depower all the enemies. But since Quicksilver's next to act, I'm going to hit him with a bloodletting. That way he'll have bleeding on him, and that really hurts Quicksilver. It also does a considerable amount of initial damage at nearly 40k. Then immediately another 6k damage and bleeding because of his tag team. And before I could even finish saying that, he knocks himself out because of those bleed effects. Now on Spidey's turn, we're going to try a risky maneuver because he does have a follow-up attack. Normally this would be great, but not against Combo Breaker. Unfortunately, Web Swing does not stun and we do take some serious damage. But that's nothing compared to this next hit. That's an 85k finish. There's not a whole lot we could have done against that one, but it may give us the opportunity to finish this battle with Anti-Venom. As you just saw, my agent did use the Tactician Costume's ability, and that gave us an extra turn. Then we used the Light Fantastic as a quick action. Even after that, we still get to attack twice with the Mystic. This is going to take Iron Fist down to about 6,700 HP. So yeah, I think it's our chance to use our level 9 ability, Cleansing Touch. This may be the only time we see this one. It should do enough damage, so let's go for it. And that's how this one's going to end. So on to our second battle. In this one it looks like we're going to have Anti-Venom versus Agent Venom. We also are in luck because our Agent gets to go first, so that means we're going to start with the Elixir of Recovery. This not only gives us an extra turn, it also gives our Amazing Spider-Man Scrapper costume a follow-up attack and Anti-Venom enraged, but a bug apparently occurred and we don't get an extra turn with our Agent. That's at least the second time that this has happened and Psylocke was in both battles. That stopped us from using the Mystic or disorienting the enemy team. But either way, it's going to be the enemy agent's turn to attack, and it looks like Spidey's going to protect. Unfortunately, we didn't have spider senses just yet. On Anti-Venom's first turn, well, first I wanted to see exactly what happened with my agent. And it does say exhausted options that he already gained tactical maneuvers this round. Like I said before, the only link that I can see is Psylocke. But anyways, check out I Am The Cure. This ability is really impressive to me. It does some pretty good damage and incredible debuffs, especially if you get that depower to proc, and it does seem like you have a pretty good chance. On Spider-Man's turn, I finished our agent, but truthfully, I should have went after Psylocke. We would have done a follow-up attack and then probably gotten an extra turn, but at least Psylocke pretty much wastes her turn, which is what the AI likes to do. My agent, once again because of his tactician-empowered costume, gets to use the Mystic, and that will finish Agent Venom. Then we still can do a quick action Light Fantastic and possibly even take out Psylocke, but instead I'm going to use the Blackest Void and that way Anti-Venom will get another turn. This time since we haven't used his level 6 Crusade, I'm going to go ahead with that ability. It's potentially his heavy hitting attack, all you have to do is have it set up properly. First we take a Cybolt, but all it does is heal us and this time Anti-Venom finishes yet another battle with a 57,000 damage crusade. 
For the last fight, we're facing a very popular team from a few seasons ago. That's Havoc and Quicksilver. They still can be both very annoying, especially when Havoc gets to use his level 6 and exhaust your team. Luckily, we do have the Mystic Shroud, as do they. That means on Spidey's turn, we're going to go with his highest damage ability, the Web Slingshot. However, their agent starts with the dodge, so now it's going to be Havoc's turn and he uses Plasma Spheres. Like I said, we do have the Mystic Shroud, so all it does is give us an extra turn with our agent. Still, I'm going to use the Asgardian Tankard, and we will give Spidey a follow-up attack and enrage Anti-Venom. Then I need to use the Blackest Void and clear that Mystic Shroud on the enemy. This, of course, will also disorient all three of the enemies at once. By the way, I do have Defensive Fighter on Anti-Venom, mainly because I wasn't using it, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to put on him. To be honest, you probably couldn't go wrong with anything that boosts melee, since all of his abilities are a melee attack. Now lastly, at the end of my agent's turn, which seems like it's been going on for a while now, we're going to use the Mystic on their agent. This will place obsolete tech on him, and it will prevent him from using the Neurotrope or the Cube. Because of his disoriented, he ends up hitting his own Havoc. Then on Anti-Venom's turn, we're going to use I Am The Cure. It's just too good not to use. I'm really hoping that we also get to depower the enemies. Next, it's going to be Quicksilver's turn, and wait till you see what Spidey does. He actually protects against the blinding punches, and gains an extra turn. That's pretty amazing, and since we interrupted Quicksilver, we might as well finish him off with a web slingshot. That's definitely one way to stop his second attack. Now on Spidey's normal turn, we're going to take out yet another character, and since Havoc is up next, it's going to be him. With my agent's final turn, we're going to use the Light Fantastic as a quick action, and then I will use that Bashanga's Blade. Sadly, it looks like Anti-Venom won't get to end this third fight, but two out of three isn't bad. So one more attack and we're going to end the video. I really hope you enjoyed our first look at Anti-Venom in PvP. I'm going to have plenty more of that in the future, including an entire All Hell the King episode. Lastly, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, good luck, and take care.